what's up guys? I know it's been like two months since I made a video, but we just got the new Ram in, so I was just like, you know what? I might as well make a video on this thing. It's pretty awesome. I just drove it today. I'm gonna completely go over it inside and out with you and tell you what I think, think of it, how it drives, how it operates, all the specs, all the stats. We're gonna go over all of it. So let's get to it. So first things first, I just wanna say this one is a diesel and it's got a new motor for it. This one doesn't have it in it, but just to let you know, the new motor has 400 horsepower and it's got a thousand foot pounds of torque, which is like the best on the market by far. First truck to have a thousand foot pounds of torque for a 3500 it's pretty crazy this one's a single rear wheel obviously but yeah you can get the high output thousand foot pounds of torque this one though has 370 horsepower and 850 foot pounds of torque so it's not much less but yeah if you get the high output it's going to tow up to 35,100 pounds if you get the dually if you get the single rear wheel it's going to tow up to about 19,000 pounds roughly a little bit more it's actually 19.7 the max payload on the dually is going to be 7680 and on this truck right here is actually going to be 42 10 so uh 4210 pounds is gonna be the max on this truck right here anyways let's get to it we're gonna start looking inside of it and uh yeah let's 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 take a look at this thing let's go all right so the outside of this truck it looks very similar to the 1500s um the front end obviously doesn't have the cross cross uh grill like they normally have on the rams but no big deal stands out more and a lot of people at first when they saw it um they didn't know what to think of it but it I've gr it's grown on me i think i think it looks really good um it's definitely more modernized and you can get led lights led tail lights with it now so on the outside everything especially in the fender flares looks amazing the wheel wells rounded off it looks great um cummins of course this one's a limited model, so it's going to have pretty much all the bells and whistles to it. And this one also has an eight-foot bed to it. And something new on the outside, they have the side step here. So you can bring this out. So that's brand new. Um, they also have uh, the big camera here, of course. It goes with the 12-inch screen. It's got park sensors. They have blind spot detection now. So if you're, uh, if you're driving one of these things with an eight-foot bed, it's awesome. You can get blind spot detection in it. So it's going to be right here in the mirror. It's going to be lighting up yellow when you uh, when someone's driving next to you. But anytime someone's in this area around the truck, it's uh, it's going to tell you they're there. So that's nice. So you're not going to run into anybody because I know a lot of people get nervous about buying trucks just because of the size of them. But having blind spot detection, that's going to be super nice. Um, I also wanted to show you one more thing real quick on the outside. At least one more thing. Something new they have, you can drop the tailgate. So you just double tap this and then boom, the tail light, tailgate drops down just like that. Um, fifth wheel prep and everything's in here. You can get that. This one's got the bed liner in it. Got the outlet right here if you need that. So boom, you got that right there. And you got your lights in the back back here obviously too. Those are still back here. Um, it's got a cargo cam up at the top too. So if you do need to line the trailer up, you can always use the camera mounted up there and line it up with the fifth wheel. Something new that the Ford guys are going to hate too because they always, always talk about it is this. It's got the camera on the back. Guess what? It's also got a camera right here. Oh, hey, ha. by the way, it's also got one on the front. Oh, you know where I'm going with this. It's also got one on the other side. Things got a 360 camera to it. So if I'm walking outside the truck right here, I can see my feet, I can see everything around me. So that's new. It's got the 360 camera. Um, that's something that everyone's always been talking about, Ram not having. Guess what? It's got it now, so that's nice. It's got keyless entry too, so that button will lock it. Put your hand on it, that unlocks it. And of course, you can always get remote start with it too. So you just double tap that button and it starts right up. Anyways, let's get inside of it. whoa what's that forgot to mention they have uh yeah drop down running boards so that's new um you open the door they go out you shut the door they go back in on the inside looking at this so it's got memory seats in it of course it's a limited so it's going to have all this nice trim it's got the wood grain trim the leather stitching um the white stitching with the leather it's actually gray i would say but um, the Harman Kardon system, this is my favorite thing about the Ram trucks actually right here. The design on the inside, this is what sells them to me. Um, but this design right here on the speaker, this is a Harman Kardon audio system. It's an upgrade, but um, just wanted to show this to you. Speaker design looks like this.
so yeah that's pretty cool i like that a lot um they really killed it on the inside of these things um they've also got power folding mirrors if you want that the button's going to be right there um so the mirrors can't fold in they can't fold up it's got the blind spot detection to it of course like i was saying let's go ahead and start it up i'm going to show you the radio and everything real quick because uh this one by the way has a 12 inch screen to it looking at this obviously you can split the two screens up so you have a top level and then you have a bottom level so i can go to my comfort here and on the top if i wanted to i could go to my media or you could just make it all one big screen if you want and you could just boom um, mix them up with that button uh, you go back to the media and everything's just going to pop up with the radio so it's cool because the 12 inch screen you can obviously use apple carplay android auto just like the 8.4 inch screen but um, you can tune through the stations just doing this it's loading because I just started the truck up, but you can just scroll right through the menu. You get XM radio with it, you get navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So if you hook your phone up through USB, it's going to show the whole phone up here. And you're going to be able to just pretty much screen mirror it, use your maps, use whatever you want off of the phone screen and pair them up with the radio. So if you don't have navigation on one of the trucks, 8.4 or the 12-inch uh, screen, you can just hook it up with a USB and boom, navigation works just straight off your phone. And that's awesome. but. In here, um, I just wanted to go over a couple things. Of course, navigation, you can use this massive menu if you want. It's huge. It looks like an iPad. Just for comparison, that's my hand, so it is huge. Also, you got, of course, your heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, which will come on automatically if it's cold out and you remote start it. Heated seats will come on automatically. Same with the ventilated if it's hot out. Uh, it's a high, low, and medium setting for it now. Um, the heated wheel, uh, that's just an on and off button. Here is what the cameras look like. Backup camera boom that's it so turn the wheel and it's going to turn those controls with it those lines the guidelines the, for the cargo cam that's right there um and then if you want you got this camera too so shows the size of the truck just so that you can line up perfectly with everything you can also get the auto leveling air suspension so if you're trying to hook something up you literally can just drop the truck down use the cargo cam and back right up into it looking at the rest of the truck the inside you have this really cool design on the inside um, doesn't even look like it'd be hard to keep clean it looks like a stainless steel type it's got leather all the way across the dash it's all over the top the stitching the wood grain here it's automatic headlights there's a light even for the back if you have anything in the back um, these are your fog lights right here they did a couple things safety wise too i already mentioned the blind spot detection but it also has forward collision warning so the button right here is to adjust the forward collision warning and how far away the person is in front of you so that's going to set your distance the button that i just showed you right here is going to adjust the distance and with it on um there's there's three or four different settings so you can adjust how far how close the car is in front of you for the adaptive cruise control so if someone if you're about to run into the back of them truck will slow down so you don't run into the back of them and if they speed up it'll speed up with them the j brake's going to be right here um the whole design of it's cool these buttons you just push them down it, it, it's a lot nicer it's way more updated than anything else out there with the whole design of this it's got a wireless charging pad too by the way that's right there cd players are back up to date i know i just said up to date and that's outdated but it, it's awesome because nobody else has it you know trailer brakes gonna be right here all the buttons if you get auxiliary switches they're all gonna be right there also um but park sensors you can turn them off and on the j brakes there the tow assist is there it's got navigation like i said you got the backup camera cargo camera all kinds of cameras whatever you need you can zoom in if you want they they killed it this truck's awesome the button design the layout everything's super easy to use you can get a sunroof with them so that's that and the back seats have a ton of space on them. but the overall design just the overall look of it wireless charging pads everything super nice uh, one more time i'm going to show you just everything again real quick it's got push button start ash design is awesome in this thing and then you look at the cup holders you got a ton of ton of space in here um usb in there also ton of space in here and you can actually move this if you want to you can move it back it's got more space here and it's got another outlet down there. It's an actual three prong outlet. So if you need to hook up a laptop, you got that. You can divide it if you want to. So everything they did was well thought out. It's crazy the amount of detail they put in these things. And you even have all this right here. Um, angles, ruler, whatever you need. It's pretty much right there. Overall, like I said, they killed this truck. And let's go ahead and look at the back seat real quick. All right, and boom, here's the back seats. All right, so 
You got the storage in the back of the seat, obviously. Um, there is heated seats back here, and you can get ventilated seats. That's what that button's for that's not there, but the heated seat's there. You have two USBs, two USB-Cs, and another three-prong outlet in the back. There's the storage back here, so you can pull these out if you need to. Um, you want to put drinks in there, you want to put ice in there, whatever you want. Take it out, dump it out, and my invisible water is now feeding the plants. Storage under the seat right here. This can fold out if you need it to. If you want to put something flat back here like a dog crate or something, you can put that back here. Don't want anything rolling around. Just pull that out if you need the storage. The storage is right under there. The other side is going to have the Harman Kardon system. Let's see if I can get it from this side. Nope. We're going to have to, we're going to, have to switch sides. There we go. So this side has the Harman Kardon system in it. Um, comes with a subwoofer. It's uh, just like the charger, sounds great, um, awesome sound system, and like I said, the overall design of the speakers and everything is just awesome. I just love how they did it. There's a uh, light under the seat, uh, speakers up here, active noise cancellation. They'll actually cancel out the road noise if you're driving around. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and drive it right now. All right, I'm driving it now, and I gotta say, um, I'm not used to driving these big trucks, especially ones with eight foot beds, but um, this thing doesn't feel like it's massive. Like most, most of the things I drive that are like this, I, I don't even wanna drive them. I'm sitting here just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just Yeah, so anyways, most things like this, I don't even wanna drive. They're just so big. I just do not even feel comfortable driving them. So this, on the other hand, um, it's got the eight foot bed too, but it, it doesn't even feel heavy. It feels like it's got plenty of torque to it. And you, you really, the ride quality and everything, it, it's it's great. Even with the air pressure up, like I'm driving right now, it's not even bad. It's It handles great, it drives great, it feels light. That's what FCA's been doing with a lot of their stuff lately. Everything feels a lot lighter, and the interiors, they've been killing it on them. Even for a heavy duty truck, this thing is, is awesome. You know, I'm not even a truck guy myself, but you know they they've really upgraded this compared to the other heavy duties from the previous generation you know not that there was anything wrong with that but man they stepped up with this one you're not comfortable driving with heavy duty trucks but you're looking to get one I can tell you right now this is probably one that you want to look at because they just handle that that well yeah if you haven't checked them out if you're looking to get something make sure to keep them in mind all right that's gonna do it for me uh, feels good to make something again but yeah if you got any questions comments just leave them in the comment section of course drop a like for me if you could and hopefully I make some more stuff more recently yeah, just uh, remember, greatness takes vision. Whatever you want in life, put it in your mind, make it a vision of yours, and make it a reality. If you got any questions, if you need anything, like I said, put it in the comments. Hope to hear from you guys. I love your reactions. I love your responses. I love seeing them. I love reading them. I go through every one of them. And hope you have a good one. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.